Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra here with Asp CM O'Neill and we're at the Widener Ranch. Looking behind me, you see this big, beautiful, brand new range that you just had built. Yeah, we had it built for a class that we didn't even get to have. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> but I want to talk to Neil about what it costs and what is involved Oof. in doing something like this. LuckyGunner.com works hard to stock ammo to ship today and take care of their customers. They've stood by us all in this ammo crisis and earned my business time and time again. They ship immediately, often same day, so give them your next ammo order. So I'm not gonna give away all the specifics here of Neil and his wife Stephanie's incredible place, but you live out in a rural area. Yep. Surrounded by hay fields and corn fields. A lot of flat land. A lot of flat land, and you got 25 beautiful acres out here. We love them all. <laughs> so a beautiful place, and um, after living here for a little over a year, decided you wanted to put up a range. Yep. And now, okay, so sometimes, you know, some folks are like, well, I just live in a place that's got a big hill. Y'all, this is South Dakota. There ain't none of those. You know, if your dog runs away, you can watch him go for three days. So, but you had to pay for it. So now tell me what it, it took, Neil, to get all this range built and all this. I'm, I just want to show you a little bit of what we've done here. You can see he's got a big berm that's what, Neil? 35 uh, yards? 35 yards. From 35 yards to the start back. of the berm. You can see back there. It's all the way back there to, to that, that two yep. sides. Um, you can see his pickup back there. We haven't built the third part yet. So there's going to be a third wall and potentially a fourth one as well yep. to close it in and make it a, a 270 range. Right. And, and so, I, I mean, the gist of it is, is right now it's just the L-shaped berm and we've got a little bit on the side over here uh, for some protection because we've got a road over here we've got some cleanup we've got to do and you know that's just life so we've got to clean up some trees we're gonna burn those this winter when it snows so we don't burn down the whole county uh, and then next spring we'll put another 30 yards on this thing and this is a private range yeah, th yeah, this isn't, th nobody's using this. Uh, you know, us, uh, you guys, are uh, a couple of neighbors are probably going to come by, some family and friends, that right. kind of stuff. This but isn't, this isn't a public range. This isn't a place yeah. people are coming to shoot. It's not available to rent or anything right. like that. This is a private range for them. So what it costs to bring, I mean, how many tons of dirt is this? Uh, 30, uh, 3,020 tons. 3,020 tons to build two yeah, of uh, berms. Yeah. Now that berm is pretty significant. If you look right there, the top of that berm is right at 20 feet tall. Yeah. And yep. it's already been compacted. So they were driving trucks over the top of it. Yeah, the... it was really fun to watch them do it because as they were hauling it in, uh, they had a dump truck and a side dump truck, uh, semi. The dump truck would literally back right up there and dump. So he was packing that up. And then we had a guy with a bulldozer that was pushing it up to, to frame it. So it's about 12 feet wide at the top. At the which, top? Yeah, which is nice. Uh, and he, they drove all over it. So it should be packed. We will get some settle. I don't know how much, uh, but we'll see. We'll yeah. So 3,000 tons of dirt. Now, I know this particular one was done by a guy who you've got a great relationship with. What's our general cost to move a ton of dirt? Uh, <laughs> so uh, it, it's the cost of the dirt anywhere between. For, for this kind of fill dirt, you're looking at between... Uh, uh, I don't know, $60 a load, uh, maybe all the way down to $10 a load if you know the guy and that kind of stuff. Depends on how far How many tons are in a load? Uh, it depends on the, the side dump load. They can get about 30 ton in their, in their bed. On the dump truck one, he was telling me they were about 18. Okay, so a side dump truck load, you might get two bucks a ton for the dirt. If you're lucky, yeah. If you're lucky. Yep. But then you gotta pay the guy for his time. Yep, and those guys run uh, 100 to 200 dollars an hour for their equipment. So while the trucks were running, we we're spending 150 dollars an hour while the bulldozer's running a little more per hour. Yeah, a little so, more when the bulldozer's yep. running. So what's it cost to build a range like this? Um, you're looking at 20 grand. One, when things all said and done. So I know a lot of people have said, man, I really want a private range or whatever. And, and listen, if you own, I know people are like, well, that's why I own a Bobcat. Do you know how long it's gonna take you to move 3,000 tons of dirt with a yep. Bobcat? You know, and that's the thing, you posted something the other day about this and people are like, well, I just moved my Bobcat. And then some folks were showing pictures of the range, uh, you know, and their berms are this tall. And right. you know what, well, you've got neighbors and I've got, you know, I wanna limit as much liability as I can. So the higher, the better on this kind of thing. Ultimately, there's going to be baffles over the top of this thing so that, I mean, there is going to, we're going to minimize any chance for bullets to get out over that direction yeah. if we can. So the reality is, is that this wonderful private range, I just wanted you guys to know what these kind of things cost. I, this is the kind of stuff that I can't do in Phoenix, right? It's not like my neighbor's going to be like, yeah, sure, build berms, have at it, shoot your yeah. heart out. No, it's not yeah. happening in my town. But when you live out here in the country, I think a lot of times us suburbanites uh, don't understand what it's like living in the rural world. Um, it's a little different. I love it out 
out here. Yep. But if you're gonna build a, a big range like this to proper standards with good fill dirt that's not full of rocks that are worried about ricochet and stuff like that, it's nice used car territory and up. Yeah, yeah, it's not cheap, it's not easy. Uh, you know, it was fairly quick uh, on our scenario because uh, hauling the dirt wasn't very, the, all of this dirt was fairly close. They didn't have to haul, haul it a ton and that's that $150 an hour. Yeah. Uh, it was close enough that we got all of this work done in about two and a half days worth of work. Wow. Uh, so, you know, and, and they, they spread it out over a few days because they had other jobs to do, uh, but they stopped what they did, were doing to get this done so we could get a class in that we had on the books. And so they did their thing for us, got it done. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw some pictures of who was here and those guys are great. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. They did a great job, but everything's gonna be a little bit different for to, your your mileage may vary. Yeah, your <laughs> mileage may vary. You're gonna see a lot of video out here at the Widener Ranch uh, because this is a great location for us to film right up until it gets to be a South Dakota winter, uh, at which time- About we, a week. About, yeah, <laughs> next week this time, yeah. Uh, but, and then the video will all be me because I we can come out here in eight degrees and shoot. More power to you. Yeah. Uh, so whenever you see this, I want you to just think about commenting on a video. Hey, Neil. Solid flex. <laughs> right.